Yo, what's going on, people? What's going on? I'm about to jump on live with Tiny Breaker. You should be able to see me on live. Yo, TB, where you at, bro? Um, how can I see this? So, looking for TB. TB, where you at? Hang on, one second. Big up Preds. Let me find TB. Uh, uh, big up Abdul from Nigeria. I'm about to jump on live right now with someone that's in Nigeria right now, Abdul. No, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it, man. TB, can you see that? Don't know if he's on here right now. I'm about to jump on live with TB. Hang on. Oh yeah, yeah. Go, go on live now. Hang on. Oh. So I should be. Oh, there he's there now. He's there. Now. So TB, she be getting a request for me right now. Yo, yo, what's going on, man? What's wow, man. good, boy, guy? What's going on, big dog? Long time, man. I'm good, fam. I know, I know, I know. It's been years. How are you keeping? Wow, just just around, man. Just. Trying to live. I, 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 I met up with Malfi a couple of times because he comes to buy his tabba for me as well. So I bumped into a couple of times, man. Okay, okay, that's nice. But anyway, let, let's start. That's let, nice, let's that's start, nice. Let's start from yeah. the scratch, man. Let's start from this very scratch, a Tunde. So, for those who don't know, for those who don't know, <laughs> okay, okay. this is Tiny Breakers. One, 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 one of the people of my generation of Peckham who... I used to hang around with, with, with uh, a lot of times. Uh, uh, there's a few issues that happened that made people go their separate ways. But from the very beginning, I need you to start with... Sure, sure, sure. When did you first come to Britain and what area did you grow up in? Um, I, I first came to Britain like uh, um, 2000. Mm -hmm. So, and I was living in uh, uh, Elephant Castle, Rockingham. Yeah. Estate. Uh, what, 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 so I kind of grew up there. And what school did you go to? Uh, Woolworth. Woolworth, yeah. So you were all clamping them. Like, so I think it's known as uh, Woolworth. I think it's, yeah, yeah. I think it's known as Woolworth Academy now or something. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. So when did you become Tiny Breaker? When did that happen? Because when, when, when was that transition? Cause... That kind of... Well, the transition kind of happened when I started school. Yeah. So from school... Like, uh, my school was in around that Oak and Road side. You know, it's not very far from Peckham, you know what I'm saying? Hello? Oh, the connection's gone a little. Hello? It might even be me, man. T, can you hear me? Yeah, it might be my network as well. My network's normally bad around here. But yeah, so, so repeat that again, please, because we missed the last minute there. Okay, uh, where should I start from? Where did you, where did you miss me from? Yeah, like when you, you said uh, you were from Oak, um, the schools in Oak and Road, not too far from Peckham and school. And yeah, that's where it was. Yeah. Yeah, and then me and my friend, um, which is uh, known as a uh, tiny yeah. river. You, you know who I'm yeah, talking yeah, about? Yeah, he used to live around Woolworth. We used to hang out together around Woolworth Road. His house wasn't far from yeah. my house, from Elephant Castle. So from there, we used to go to Peckham all the time, take a bus tour, roll up to Peckham, hang out with some food, make some new friends, and come back home and stuff. That's how I started entering Peckham. Mm. 
So who 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 made you turn your break? Was it younger breaker or older breaker? Uh, it was actually an older breakout. You know, we went to the same okay, school. Yeah, yeah. So he went to Wolves as well. So we kind of met up in school. So he was an older breakout. So he kind of used to call me tiny, tiny, tiny. So I just, just he just liked mm. me. So he just like ah, I used to, I used to like this guy swag, everything. Do I used to roll? Do I used to roll in school? Do I used to carry myself? Mm. So he just took a little interest and said, ah, you could be tiny breakout. I was like, ah, that's cool. Mm. You know, you know when you're young and that like. Those times getting a graph graph tag name was very very important. Mm. Those times, you know. Hundred percent. So I, I just felt like, uh, yeah. So I just felt like Tiny Breaker would be a a, 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 nice, a nice one to choose, mm. you know. And then from then on, I guess when I think when I first met you, it was Woolly Road McDonald's Pound Up. That's where we used to do Pound Up, and then eventually. Yes, I uh, well we, we and eventually you guys all started coming yeah. outside my school where me and Ryan started the Pound Up sessions over there. So. That was that was a big part of my yes, life. Ah, <laughs> Panda was a big. Uh, it was a. It was. It was a game that kept everybody together and kept us entertained. Mm. You know, we was bored. We didn't have nothing to play with. So just making a little change out of each other was was kind of the, the jokes out there. <laughs> so, when, so when when so when I guess the, the criminality side of it, because at the beginning we we're sort of young, we we're hanging around. But when did the criminality side of it start for you in terms of maybe? selling drugs and crime and, and when did it start for you? Oh, I'll just say maybe when I started to make a lot of friends mm. and then you start growing up and then you, you, you just wanted money and, you know, so you started thinking, well, how would I get this? How would I get this? How would I get mm. that? So, and then for you to think, for you to think like, oh, I need this, I need that, I need this, you start thinking criminality, you start thinking very different shit to do just to get the mm. money. So, and then you're on the street, and then we're on the street, there's, and there's a lot of ways that we're seeing as a very young mm. kid. And you're thinking, wow, I can make money like this, I can make money like this, I can make money like mm -hmm. that. So I just felt like I just needed to choose mm. one. <laughs> and, what, and what was the angle that you decided to Which do? Which was dealing. I uh, mean, I was just uh, selling mm. drugs. And how was that for your, your, your family at the time? Were they sort of like, yeah. Tunde, what are you doing now? Uh, that, most of the time, they didn't even know about it. I won't lie to you. Mm. They couldn't even know about it, man. I was I was doing it behind behind the back and shit, mm. man. So there's the there, there, there came to a point that I guess the criminality mm. sort of grew and then there's a point uh, no my family my my family is totally against all that kind yeah. of stuff, man. Has had, had when you first got but arrested I was, uh, they, how how did, you, how did your parents sort of deal with that when you first got arrested? Yeah. Uh, I got beat up in the station in front of the officers and shit. <laughs> that's a mad. That's that's how mad my family was. <laughs> Crazy. I remember even the officers, even the officers, the officers was even begging. <laughs> Remember this properly, but I'm not sure if my my memory's messing up with me or if it, it, this happened. I remember one time being with you on a bus late night, right, three or four o'clock in the morning. Was that you? We come back from a rave. Oh, the reception's going. Did you hear that? Yeah, is every time. Is it, yes, I can hear that. Is every time I'm trying to receive a call. Oh, so, yeah, the so next block is breaking up. But yeah, what I was saying, there's a time. I, yeah. I think it was you. Don't quote me. But we must have come back from a rave about four or five o'clock in the morning. It was in a bus together. Do you okay. remember that? Okay. I don't remember that. I, I'm, uh, we went to we went we went to a lot of uh, uh, house raids, house club, house yeah, parties. So, as I started speaking, I just remember there's one time lot. I think me and you jumped on a bus or, or something at like four or five o'clock in the morning. I, can't, I don't know. That just, memory just came to me. But what ended up happening? Then you ended up going to jail. What did you go to jail for? Oh, um, I went to jail for. Uh, they said uh, it was a robbery, yeah. but. To me, I didn't, not a, I didn't look at it as a robbery, right? Mm -hmm. You understand? Because I didn't did, I was just trying to collect my money back for the drug I sold the guy. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, but the guy, but the guy turned the story on us and said that uh, we wanted to rob him. So mm -hmm. that's how I ended up going to jail. And then, and then and in the process you. of the <laughs> argument in the house and that. Huh? No, go on, go ahead, go ahead. And I said that in the process of the whole commotion, you know, the guy, 
the guy ended up getting shot because It's caught again. Are you on the virgin one? No, I'm just on my one. Oh, I, yeah. I'm on, I'm, okay, so I love it. I love it. Sorry for the network. Yeah, sorry. Say, network. That again, say, say that again because it cut, please. Sorry for the network. I, I, have some, I have some few friends just coming in from the background. There's uh, some of the few friends that I'm back with. Up, man. <laughs> okay. They're saying big yourself up. Yeah. Yeah, so, so wait, you said the guy said my chief. You said the guy got shot. Yeah, he got shot in his groin. Yeah. So what so what 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 was it actually? So basically, charge in the well, oh the actual charge was actually oh five um with intent to danger life, robbery okay. and uh um and firearm. Possession of a firearm. <laughs> Uh, how, how, how long did you get? Oh, uh, I got uh, all in total. I got um nine years, the longest. Wrong con concert, wrong concurrent. Okay. Yeah. So, so when? How was it when you actually went to prison? Then, because I remember I see um I see you in Felton at the time. Was it Felton together? How was it you going to prison yeah, for the yeah, first time? Yeah, how did yeah. it make you feel? Yeah. Uh, it was uh, at first the reality didn't sink in, but then when uh, I was actually first at remanded, so I, t I felt like mm. I still have opportunity to coming out or not. But get, get remanded, mm. uh, but after the trial and everything, then they now come that look, you are now in jail fully. You know, mm. the those times when I was in remand, it was still like a play thing, like maybe I'll be here for a little while and come out. But after getting found guilty, mm. then I knew that, wow, like, really something. That's when I knew that I was mm. now in jail, bro. <laughs> so, uh, how did you spend your time in there? How did you keep yourself focused? And did you get support? Did you feel, because a lot of it, there's this big discussion going on um, that when people, when people go to prison, they feel like their friends don't, or family don't really support them. And my yeah. argument is like, you know what? Why should they support us? But at the same time, if you was riding and rolling with people, you kind of expect them to help you? So did you feel you had that support yeah. on the inside? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I had I had a lot of support well, with family, um, friends. Uh, I, I, I was really one of the lucky ones that really had a lot of support. Like, people really, that nobody left me alone. I was, I was alone, but uh, I was still communicating with people outside. Mm. So, which, which kept me going. I hear that. So, um, and I you guess, know, uh, when I, every time I get, every time I get. Yes, I guess, I guess, so one of the things that the toughest part of being in prison, which I found was when we um, lose yeah. our loved ones. So I lost people that are close to me, like Nerves, Javari. Yeah. And obviously with you, Depot, that was like your right hand man all the time. And how did you feel when you heard that? Yes, 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 yes. Ah. See, having a, uh, you lost a friend in jail is one of the painless stuff ever. Mm. You know, you, I sat there and I was just thinking, like, I'm never going to see this person mm. again. Like, you know, I'm being in jail, not able to even, not able to even go to the attend the funeral mm. or do anything. It was really sad, mm. man. You know, I couldn't even take a last moment of him. I couldn't see a last moment of him, you know. I remember when he came to visit me before he died and mm. stuff, you know, it was very sad. Yeah, Depot's a good one, man. Yeah. He's definitely a good one, and that's the, I guess, the consequences, yeah, was, the consequences of the life that we live. I guess as well that comes of it, and also going to jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Some some people even say we were quite lucky going to jail because we could have been rather been dead on the street. One hundred percent. Those so, things, those things going. I don't know. Those things going on at the time, and as you, you're aware. Like there's issues with my brother, yeah, yeah. Issues with my brother with you guys as well, and it's all yeah, great. You're that right. We can sort of all look back, you're right, and you're we right. can start and go right. You yeah. know what? We could have actually been and killing friends, but yeah. now we can look back and say, "Come on, yes, we uh, we was. That's what we was end up doing. That's what we was end up doing. Not knowing what we were doing was even mm. wrong, but nobody can see it. It's like it's like we were all blinded. Mm. 
you know, it, it's like we were all blinded by the by the mm. moment, but we didn't know what exactly was going on. Like everything was just happening so quick, so rapidly. Mm. You know, it was, it was it was it's quite sad. It's quite sad. You know, some sometimes when I look back at it now, it's quite mm. sad. And obviously, uh, once you was released, they they sent you back uh, to Nigeria. How was that for you in terms of like? No yeah. transition and having to accustom Ah, oh, that was another that was another that, that was like that that was like getting punished twice. Mm. Mm. You know, after after when I was in uh, after when I was in jail and uh, I I felt like, well, right now I'm in jail, let me try to better off my life. I went to school, did everything there like to better myself, like in case of releasing so I can be a better person. And then after going through all that and I'm finding out later that I'm not going to get released to the society again. Mm. Like I'm gonna have to go, and go back home to Nigeria, where where I grew up as a little kid. I don't even know nothing about the mm. country again. I don't have no memory of the place anymore. Mm. Like I'm like a like when I first got to the airport here, I was like a stranger. I didn't mm. know where. No, I hear that. So and how, and how was it? So it was another punishment on his own. And has your family been now being supportive? And I'm, I'm, you made your family over there now. You got friends. You're, you're getting yourself back together. Yes. Oh yes. I'm. I'm doing. I'm doing some. I've learned some trade and stuff. Uh, doing engineering and stuff just to keep myself busy. And I have a football team as well over here, which keeps me going. You know. So I'm not. I'm not. I, I'm always trying to get into the Nigerian League Football League, but it's very harder than. You know, you, you get more support is over there. Mm. But over here, you have to support yourself, yeah. your career. Mm. So it's more, it's more harder for me to make it, to make it as a footballer. Mm. Yeah. But I still, I still have a club, a local club. But we, are, we don't get paid, but we support mm. ourselves. Right. And how, how are you, like your old friends? Do they still check in? Do they still like send money and things like? Because it's difficult sometimes. Like, what? Oh, oh, we. Yes, yes, yeah. I, you know, a lot of people is going through different, different phases. So you don't, you don't, you can't expect anybody to do for you. You have to go out and do it yourself. But if you ask your friend for a favor and he does it, all is well. But if he doesn't, you got to understand that he doesn't have. Because we believe we don't come from a selfish background. We all, we lost in money as a very young mm. kid, you know. So we just, everybody is everybody just, just trying to survive. Mm. No, 100%, because, you know, for example, Kilo got deported as well, Slugs got deported as well, even all the breakers. Yeah. So, I mean, I even said yes, Kilo yes. money the other day. As yes, well. so yes. It's hard, and what I try to explain is that we all go through things because yeah. we've got our own families here, we've got to pay bills, we've got to pay costs, so it's yes. difficult. But as long as you still get the support, yes. the friendship is still there. That's the main thing, man. So, what um, to finish off, what word of advice would you give to the young youth of today living in London? Oh man, stay away from violence, mm. man. You know, if you don't make money, don't make money. You just stick to making money. But violence, mm. man. Mm. No, I hear that, man. But yeah, see, and, 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 your father, and your father also, right? Oh uh, yes, uh, uh, I am. But uh, you know. Uh, my son was actually born when I was in jail. Yeah. So it's still, it, that's another sad story of my life as well again. And how, how you is know, the relationship? I, I, you know, I think a lot. It makes me... Mm. Uh, the relationship is good. We talk on the phone all, all the mm. time. He used to come and visit me. So we have, we have a bond, but we have not spend that quality time together because of distance yeah. and time. But TB, that... It's great for me to speak with you, man. And yeah. like, as I've been doing this interview with different Peckham people, you're one of the names that everyone's saying, get TB, get TB. That's why I reached out. I said, okay. I need to get TB on here, man. <laughs> Bro, like, you got legendary status. On yeah, this. seriously, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really happy to... Uh, thanks so much, yeah. man. Uh, you know, I really appreciate Miss everybody, no yeah. homo. I miss the whole hand, miss everything, no homo. I love Peckham, oh, man. man. <laughs> I you, bro, big yourself up, man. Yeah, and take care, man. You're up. Right. Big up, my brother. All right, guys, thank you very much. Yeah.